Oh, right, last video for today, guys, I promise. Uh, first of all, we've got uh, Leaf Life Bushcraft uh, Skinner. This is the second one. Um, I am having some of these cut out of stainless, hopefully soon. Um, really like this design. Uh, made the, the belt clip for him, which sits at a nice angle on the hip. Uh, retention on this I've left really quite loose but it's it's quite a deep fit inside the sheath so it's not going anywhere uh, but easy to get in and out it's more practical I think for the type of knife uh, leaf life bushcraft uh, the tip on it is menacing <laughs> um, this is his bloody cat again um, this is very, very lean, very lean. I'm starting to get more confident with the grinding to get it that lean. Um, it's made purely for paunching or open up, opening up the gut of an animal. Um, so it just wants to be pointy and that's about it. It's not made for anything other than that really, so it's very, very lean. And as requested, he wanted it numbering. So it's number two. Uh, toxic and black tiger stripe. Uh, stainless hardware. It's a uh, four mil or one. I can't. It's a four or five mil. I think it's f five mil or one. I think this one. I can't remember. Fits nice in the hand. Nice big handle. There we go with the sheath. And this is possibly well. It's not possibly. It is the favourite knife that I've made to date. Um, it is one of my karambit designs. Uh, it's also my favourite sheath that I've made to date. I'm really quite happy with this. And I messed the end up a bit, but you get the idea. It's from my friend Ryan, and I suppose you want to see the knife. Uh, for, uh, first of all, Ryan, I've um, these are all three quarter inch. Uh, that's inch and a half. That's also inch and a half. Uh, so you've got plenty of options with the tech locks there. Uh, retention on it. If I shake it really hard, it will drop out. But for general use, it's all right. It'll do the job. <laughs> Milo's going bonkers. Take a Milo. Milo. under the table we, we might get visited by Milo um yeah so there he is so there's the knife uh, flat grind both sides this is a true quarter inch thick uh, quite an aggressive hook on the front there which you need to be careful with, Ryan, that is pretty damn sharp. Um, certainly made fit for purpose. Uh, nice bit of jimping on the back there. Uh, did make a bit of a mistake, I'm not using my normal angle grinder, so it's muscle memory's all out. It did cut a little bit into there, but it's part and parcel of handmade. This is not water jet cut or anything, this is all cut out with an angle grinder and carbide burrs with help from Milo. Um, scales are uh, quarter inch Makata. <laughs> what are you doing? You nutter! Uh, quarter inch Makata, uh, two mil spacer, carbon fiber, carbon fiber liners, and OD G10 bolster. That's a good fit. This is what I would probably carry myself um, if we didn't have such stupid laws because I think this is a perfect, perfect knife for peeling apples and such. Obviously it's acid stone washed. But yeah, that's my favourite knife to date, I think. Uh, 
and yeah that's the best I could do on the sheath it's definitely the best I've done for a cram bit that's for sure just try and mount it upright and it won't go anywhere but I wouldn't mount it upside down and there we go cheers guys